Hey guys, this video today is going to be about eyebrows. Um, it's going to be about shaping them, filling them, grooming them, everything about eyebrows that I know in my own personal experience with eyebrows. Because I have some, so I have experience. First, I wanted to start off with cleanly plucked eyebrows. Granted, I'm not the best at this because I don't like plucking my eyebrows. I'd rather just get it waxed and just one and done. But um, I don't have time to do that today, so I just pluck them. They have somewhat of a shape to them. I try to keep the shape as cohesive on each side as possible. But one thing that a lot of people struggle with when it comes to filling in their eyebrows, getting them done, people tend to get really discouraged because they're like, well, this one doesn't match this one. Right off the bat, you can see that this eyebrow is much more straight and angled, whereas this one's a little bit more curvy, and that's okay. Um, I'm um, a little sick this morning, but um, that's okay because eyebrows are not meant to be twins, they're sisters. And as we all know, sisters are not completely alike. So that's all right if they have a little bit of different shape to them, as long as they're generally the shape as long as they're generally the same shape, that's fine. with Gimme Brow by Benefit. It's gonna tint the hairs that it grabs onto. Um, and it also combs them back, which I like to start with this so it can kind of comb everything back. It keeps everything in place and I have a good starting point. Okay, so I'm just gonna take Gimme Brow and lightly brush that through my eyebrows. I'm almost, oh, I'm pretty sure I'm out of this product, but I'm gonna keep using it as if it's still there. So you're just going to lightly brush through the front. My hair is naturally go upwards. I'm just going to follow that pattern and just brush them upward. And as I get further into the brow, I'm just going to start swiping it sideways. And then down for my arch. Personally, I like to use this angled brush here. I don't know, it's a really thin, precise brush, which I really like. I don't really like using the fluffier angled brushes for my brows because then I don't feel like I'm really carving them out as much as I want. That's a personal preference. If you guys want to um, have softer looking brows or more natural looking brows, you can definitely do that. That's up to you. I'm just going to show you how I do my eyebrows and I like them to be a little more bold and carved out. So if that's not your thing, feel free to tone it down. Next I'm going to be taking Dip Brow from Anastasia in the color Chocolate. I'm pretty sure mine should be dark brown, but um, my hair was lighter like a few weeks ago. So this is all I have. We're gonna make it work. Dip Brow is gonna be a gel product. Um, oh, not a gel. It clearly states pomade. Ooh. I don't know how to describe it. Like a, it, It's like a gel, sort of. So it looks like this, and I'm just taking my angled brush and I'm just dipping it in there lightly. You don't want to get a whole lot of product on here because this stuff is really intense. This stuff is really intense and you don't want to have like really insane eyebrows. I mean if you do that's fine, that's all you. I personally don't want insane eyebrows. Even though they're probably going to come out pretty intense anyway. So what I learned while I was employed at Benefit was that there's a special trick called brow mapping. It's following the symmetry of your face to match your eyebrows and your eyes on how it should be mapped out. So for example, I'm taking the inner groove of my nose right here, pressing right up against it, and I'm gonna make a little tick mark so you guys can see where it should be starting, which is right there. Pretty much, there's a couple stragglers there, so I'm gonna count that as accurate. Then I'm gonna take the outer corner of my nose right up here, I'm gonna press up against it where my nostrils flaring currently 
and it's gonna line up when I look straight with my pupil and that's where my arch is gonna be right there pretty much where it is I can't mark it right now and then the outer part of my nose with the outer corner of my eye and it should be right there see how it falls short <clears throat> I got it waxed before I knew about how it should be getting waxed and when they took off too much right here I didn't know so I just was like oh that's fine I'll keep tweezing there so this is just an idea of where it should be I'm pomade and I'm gonna start outlining my brow so I'm gonna start from the bottom where the hairs begin and I'm just gonna lightly underline following my brow I'm not making a whole new brow and I'm not making it larger or thinner, I'm really just following the natural hairs. Right here I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more as you can see so it's going into that longer tail and it's kind of reaching that point with the top portion. But I'm not going to start way over here because I don't want that box shape. Again, this is personal preference so you can do whatever you want. I'm not. I'm going to start right here about I guess halfway through the front part. A quarter of the way for the whole eyebrow I don't know just right here and I'm gonna start bringing it upwards towards my arch I'm gonna curve with my arch and go down I'm gonna go in with a powder with that product still on here that pomade still on here whatever's left I take the color chocolate from Anastasia it's an eyeshadow and I'm actually gonna be starting right where I started right here I'm gonna be starting with that same part I'm not going to start from the very front. Pretty much like a coloring book, I'm just outlining and coloring in. <laughs> if that makes it a little bit easier for you guys. So now your eyebrows filled in a little bit more. And whatever product is left on my brush, I'm going to go in the front of my eyebrow and kind of brush it through lightly. So now that I have that shape that I want, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe off these marks here. Alright, so now that I have pretty much the, the filled in part that I want, I'm going to go in again with Gimme Brow and start swiping it through again just to make sure that there's any spots that I may have missed. They're now getting filled in. And to also blend out those lines that I made in the beginning when I outlined my brows, it's gonna help blend those out. For a final step, not everyone has to do this. If you want a, a little bit more natural look, I guess as natural as you can get with this eyebrow look, you can leave it as it is right now with some concealer and start to carve out my eyebrows to make sure it looks clean cut, really um, sharp, so it looks nice. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to underline right underneath. And I really like to get the tail sharp, so I really make sure that there's a good amount of concealer there, like that. And you don't want to go down with your brush like this because there's a chance that the product could get in your eyebrow and you don't want to do that. You're really going to want to have your, your brush angled upwards or I guess downwards like this. And you're just going to lightly carve it out again. Like that. And there are your nicely sculpted brows. I mean, the difference is pretty amazing. If you look on this side of my face, a lot of times you'll tell that it looks a little tired, um, not as structured as maybe this side might look. All right, guys. So this is the finished brow look. I also did my full makeup as well. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing how I did my makeup, I'll put a link in the description box below so you can check that out. And I hope you guys learned something cool. So see y'all next time. Bye.